How's it going you wonderful people it's Jay and in today's video we're going to be looking at setting up one of these a cheap USB 3 capture card for streaming on Twitch or maybe recording YouTube videos. Doing so is super simple and in today's video we're going to show you how. Live streaming to Twitch, YouTube or even Facebook is super fun but one of the biggest hurdles in getting it all up and running is the equipment that it might take to get it all set up. And we recently discovered one of these little USB 3 capture cards and wanted to see how they stack up against more professional cards like the Elgato. You can see some comparison footage in another video, have a look. But in today's video we're going to show you how to set one of these up. It will take about 10 minutes, you can be up and live on Twitch in 10 minutes. So let's do this. So what you need to do is plug the USB cable or socket into the USB 3 port in your computer making sure both ports are blue to signify that they're USB 3. It's super important to make sure you get the fastest connection possible. Next, grab your HDMI cable from your console, whether it's your Switch, your PlayStation 4, Xbox, or any other HDMI device. But please note that some cable TV providers and older consoles like PS3 may not work as they have copy protection to prevent them from being captured. Slot the HDMI cable into the socket and power on that console. Most computers and laptops won't need any special drivers to get this to work and will simply come up as USB video. But in order to record footage or stream footage you'll need free software called OBS or Open Broadcaster Software. It's absolutely free and it's so good. Links are in the description below. So once you've downloaded OBS you'll have something that looks a little like this. The first thing to note are things called sources. So sources are your content. So it could be the gameplay footage, it could be your webcam, it could be a logo image for your Twitch stream, anything goes. And scenes are a collection of sources, so you may have a scene for your Twitch intro, you may have a separate scene for when you're live, and you may have a scene for when you're taking a break and having a piss. And having scenes set up in this way make it super easy, especially when you're live, so you can toggle between different sources. So to add your gameplay video, simply click the plus button under sources and click video capture device. From here, select USB video, give it a name, and voila, your gameplay footage should appear on the screen. And if you right click the source and hit properties, you can customize the video now. The default settings are generally okay, but you may want to go into custom and experiment with the different resolution available. Generally, 1280 by 720 at 60 frames, or 1920 by 1080 at 60 frames will be completely fine. For the audio from your game, add a new source and this time select Audio Input Capture. Select USB Video and you should see the game audio appear in your little mixer panel. The tricky part for a lot of people starting out is how do you get the audio to show up on your speakers? The trick is to right click your USB audio source in the mixer panel and click Advanced Audio Properties. In the pop-up select Monitor and Output. This means that your audio goes to your headphones or speakers, but it also goes to your Twitch and YouTube video as well. Finally, to add your microphone, add a new source and select Audio Input Capture. Select your headset or your microphone from the list, and the same also applies to webcam as well. Instead, select Video Capture Device from the list, select your webcam, and there we go. But of course, the last thing is connecting to Twitch. Recent versions of OBS make it super easy you, all you need to do is go into File, Settings, Stream and select Twitch as a service. Click on Connect Account, log into your Twitch account and you should be all connected. A little recommendation before you go live is tweaking the video byte rate. That is super super important if you're playing fast games like Mario Kart or Smash. Click on Output in the settings and increase the video byte rate from the default 2500 kilobytes per second to something like 4000. If you've got a good internet upload speed, you should get a nice, smooth and solid video for your viewers. Now it's time, and if you don't want to live stream and you maybe just want to record footage for YouTube or you want to test it all out before you go live, click on Start Recording. So what this does is it records it and it saves it to your videos folder and it's perfect for making sure everything looks great before you go live. Click Start Streaming and you should be live! So there we go, a quick little guide on setting up your USB 3 capture card with OBS and going live on Twitch. If you've got any questions, let us know. There's a frequently asked questions comment below as well, check it out. And if you've recently started a Twitch channel or a YouTube channel, be sure to share your links below. We definitely want to check you guys out. It's so great to see so many people going live. 
And if you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, more geeky, more gaming, more Nintendo videos, hit that subscribe button. Before you go, check out our exclusive merch, geeky and video game designs. The links to our collection are in the description below. So I hope you found this video helpful. A big thank you for watching and hopefully see you live. Bye bye.